Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto and today I am extremely excited to show you our very first completely redesigned 2022 Jeep Compass. This is a Latitude package. It has the driver assistance group. It also has the driver convenience group. So we'll go through the vehicle and show you all those options and everything that they entail. I'll show you what the Latitude package entails. They all come with the 2.4 liter Tiger Shark four cylinder engine, and uh, it's gonna give you 177 horsepower, 172 foot pounds of torque, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, 23 in the city for an average of 25 miles per gallon. We're gonna go all the way around inside, outside in this video. Diamond black is the color and we are shooting this video in 4K, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, I highly recommend turning them on now because it is your best way to check out the quality, looks, style, and options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And if you like the video and how we do things, we do videos like this every day. In the upper right hand part of the screen is a subscribe button to our YouTube channel. Click that and subscribe now. Um, does come with that driver assistance group, which gives you a, the adaptive cruise control, uh, forward collision warning. It also has the 360 camera, which is really cool. There is your camera for the front end, and it does have the sensors in the front bumper uh, there as well. They redesigned the front end. It's got, obviously these are just fillers right there. So um, it does look good though. They're a little bit flatter in line with the Jeep redesigns that are coming out, including the Grand Cherokee L and the new Grand Cherokee that will be out soon. You get the LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps, which is a nice upgrade for this vehicle. Diamond black has a lot of metal flake in it. So you can see all the metal flake there. I do like that color. Comes with these 17 inch painted silver alloy rims and it has Firestone Destination LE tires. These are 225 60R 17s. Definitely an all season tread pattern to them. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything just for the sake of the length of the video, but feel free to pause it so that you can see if this one has all the options you're looking for. Um, has the premium cloth final bucket seats, 2.4 liter I4, zero EVAP multi-air engine with start-stop, the nine-speed automatic transmission. This is a four by four. You do get the Jeep Wave membership with this vehicle. Everything on the left there is your standard options. It does have the 8.4 um, 5C radio, which will go through everything. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Wirelessly, I'll show you that. I have my phone hooked up to it so we can check that out, show you how that works. It's a pretty cool system. Um, and then everything on the bottom there was your outside options that are standard. Anyways, optional equipment, Diamond Black Crystal Pearls, two, two ninety five. Driver Assistance Group is fourteen ninety five. I think that's a great deal uh, for the amount of driver um, assistance you get. You get parallel and purple perpendicular park and unpark assist, park sense front and rear park assist system, wireless charge pad, adaptive cruise control, 360 surround view camera system, the premium LED fog lamps, and the rain sensitive windshield wipers. So that's a lot of stuff for $14.95. Just that 360 camera I think is worth it. I'll show you how that works in just a little bit here. Convenience group uh, is $1,800. AC with dual, dual zone auto temperature control, cluster seven inch display, universal garage door opener or home link, heated front seats, remote start, heated steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel, all weather or all season floor mats, automatic dimming rear view mirror, eight way power adjustable driver seat, two way power adjustable lumbar driver seat, reversible carpet, vinyl cargo mat, second row charge, only USB type A and C ports, 115 volt power outlet and the power lift gate and foot activated open and go lift gate, security alarm and windshield wiper de-icer. Total MSRP is 34,370. If you wanna get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website that has all the prices and um, 
incentives and everything for this vehicle. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon and because it is a complete redesign, they don't really have the um, all the government five star crash test safety ratings done yet. So I'm gonna show you that foot activated lift gate. Does have the four wheel disc brakes, so they kept that, which I, I definitely like. Has the capless fuel fill, which is really nice as well. Now I'm gonna try the lift gate. I've never tried it on one of these. So I'm just gonna put my foot under there. And she comes right up. Pretty slick. So you get the reversible cargo mat back here. Um, you get storage under there. They come with a tire inflator kit. Those seats fold down for extra storage. I'll show you how that works in just a little bit here. And then you can either press this button or I'm guessing that you can just put your foot underneath there again. Maybe not. Oh yeah, so you gotta put it right in the middle of the vehicle is where you're gonna wanna put your foot kick. Has the backup parking sensors here as well. Back end looks really good. Whole redesign is really nicely done. It has the enter and go system. So if you have the car locked, you just have to have the key in your pocket. Put your hand in there, it'll automatically lock the doors, unlock the doors. Has the blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors. Inside you get that black vinyl and cloth interior. Both these front seats are heated with that driver convenience group. Uh, you get the blue stitching on the seats. I think that looks really good with the black there. Power driver seat with lumbar, all weather floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. And so they are putting like carpeting on the dash of these latitudes and I kind of like it. It's a uh, really really neat it's on the bolsters as well so that's cloth power windows power locks power mirrors we'll hop inside and i'll show you the ignition and everything in here and then we'll check out that radio which is the uh new look so i'm going to connect my phone while we are checking out the instrument cluster here so you get a digital display. It's the same seven inch LCD display that they've had for uh, quite some time, but it doesn't mean that it's not nice. Um, definitely looks really good. You get a compass display and uh, has all your forward collision warning and everything on there. So this one has the heated leather wrap steering wheel. You get the blue stitching on there as well. Here are your cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls. So while they they redesigned the look of the steering wheel, they kept all the controls in the same spot. So if you have an older compass or Grand Cherokee or Cherokee and switch to this, you know, you're not going to have a learning curve when it comes to the steering wheel and the controls on there. You still get the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel as well. You have the nice Jeep logo in the middle there. So this is the 8.45C radio. And uh, you can see I have it hooked up to my um, cell phone right now for um, Android Auto. So while this radio doesn't have nav, you can clearly see that I have um, Google Maps on there and you can search in there and then you can also um, do satellite if you want satellite traffic, all those settings as well. But then you'll notice that I can go to my music, um, I can go to my calendar, I can go to my messages, I can go to my phone book, I can even go down here um, go to Messenger. I can watch Plex. Um, I'm pretty sure I can watch Plex if the car's not running or driving. Anyways, so I have all my apps that are on my phone on the screen there, and I can control it with the screen, which in theory keeps my eyes on the road more than on my telephone. You can do your heated seats, heated steering wheel up there. You also have, um, if I go to media, I can do um, AM, FM, Sirius, and you can see you can kind of scroll through the screens there to get to the source, or I'm sure you can just press them, and you can do the audio where it's playing and everything. So a lot of cool stuff on this radio. I'm curious to see. There's your 360 camera, 
Um, and they made all these cameras HD now, so they're all crystal clear. Um, the wide view, the narrow or the wide front view, the narrow front view, and then just the backup camera. And you can zoom in. If this had a receiver hitch from the factory, you could pull up to 2,000 pounds with it. Um, but you could re zoom in on that receiver hitch. But I just think it's cool the, the 360 camera on a entry level, basically entry level Jeep Compass is pretty cool. Um, speaks a lot to the, um, I guess you could say, just the engineering that Jeep has and, and how much confidence that they have in their products that they put them in, you know, a vehicle like this. Um, really cool. Down here, your start stop capabilities, stability control, lane departure warning, hazard lights, parking sensors, you can turn those off and on. And then that's your par parallel and perpendicular park assist. We should get to do a demo on that. Um, That'd be nice. So maybe someday we'll get to that. You can do your climate controls up here as well. And um, it's pretty all self-explanatory. You can do the seats right there. Sorry about that. Had an alarm go off on my phone. Anyways, um, you got your heated seats, heated steering wheel. And those get activated once the car's ignition is going here has a wireless cell phone charge pad the nine speed automatic transmission you have auto snow sand and mud settings on there you also have a four-wheel drive lock setting which i i really like um you know if it's cold weather out sure you can put it in snow or you can just put it in four-wheel drive lock and you know that you're going to be in four-wheel drive usb usb c and then electronic parking brake so that carpeted dash goes all the way across there Looks really good. You do have the SOS assist system up there. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. You have your map lights here, and then you can open up that rear gate with that button there. So I do wanna quickly show you the back seats. Now, I don't think they redesigned too much back here. Um, you do still get the latch child safety system of course you get two cup holders back here it does come with the usb and the usb c ports back here you also have the 115 volt 150 watt plug-in the uh, 12 volt power point then these seats do fold down for extra storage and they go down nice and easy i don't think they changed too much back here but um, you still get that cloth bolster on the back as well child safety locks on the back doors and the bottoms of the doors well i'm used to doing the used car videos so bottoms of the doors look like they're brand new because it is brand new we'll start it up i'll show you under the engine real quick your hood release is right there I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Got to take a look at the all new redesigned Jeep Compass, 2.4 liter multi-air engine. See they have not changed the, uh, the cover. <laughs> it's the same cover that's been on them since they came out. Um, but yeah, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, 23 city, 25 average. 177 horsepower, 172 foot-pounds of torque. There's your emission sticker. There are those LED headlamps, LED fog lamps. Really a good look. And thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used Jeeps, um, Rams, Chrysler, Dodge, or anything really, go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. 
click the bell notifications, you'll get updates every time we do videos here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Compass videos like this in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the all new redesigned 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude in diamond black metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.